Thank you for your interest in OnePager Express, a project visualization software from Chronicle Graphics. OnePager Express allows you to create ideal visuals of your plan or portions of your plan using the data you likely already have handy in Microsoft Excel or other applications that can export to Excel, such as Planisware, Primavera, Clarity, or other portfolio management tools. Imagine a world without ever having to walk into a meeting or conversation about your plan again, armed only with your Excel document. No more blank stares and inaccuracies due to a lack of clarity in planning because you will have a crisp, concise, visual handy whenever you need it, created with OnePager. Without OnePager, these visuals are something that you'd have to create manually with an Excel or another tool such as Visio or PowerPoint by spending countless hours working backwards into what you need. Adding and dragging the separate elements around, ensuring the formatting is right, and also that everything lines up against the timeline properly. Not only is this work to create these manual views a tedious and lengthy process, but the final result is not data-driven, and if changes need to be accounted for at a later date, you'll be back at the drawing board. One pager can eliminate all those hours, enhance the quality and accuracy of your work, and open the door for you to create more visuals for more presentations and conversations over the lifetime of your initiative. Now let's see how it works and what it can do. After you've installed OnePager, you can create a visual by adding a column to your Excel document and then by changing the values in that column to Yes for the line items in your plan you want to present. Once you have your Yes values in place, you can launch the initial OnePager Choices form by clicking the OnePager Express button from Excel. We refer to the OnePager documents themselves as Project Views. Give your OnePager view a name and then select the appropriate column where your Yes values are stored. Notice that you can also select all the tasks in your plan, however in my case I have lots of tasks, so unless I'm trying to create a wall chart with OnePager, which is something the tool supports, I won't want to select all. The bottom section of the form allows me to set my snapshot date, which is meant to represent the date and time to which the data driving my visual is accurate. When I click Next, I go to page 2 of the form, which allows me to confirm that OnePager found the values that it needs to create my visual where it thinks they live. If the import gets a mapping wrong, I just change the selection. When I click Create New Project View, OnePager will take my data and combine it with a template in order to render me an initial result. All of this was created using my data along with the visual settings in OnePager. Now, it is possible, even likely, that as a novice user of the tool, when you first create a view, that your result will not be exactly what you want. But just about everything you're looking at here is completely customizable, with one main exception. And that is while you can drag tasks manually up and down in the view, you cannot move them left and right, and that is by design. If you pull your data in and something is looking off, you would go back to your source document, make a change there, and then ask OnePager for a real-time update. It's important to note that OnePager is read-only, so you never have to worry about OnePager backwards populating anything into or corrupting your source document. This also ensures you have one source of truth for your initiatives. Now, let's get into the features of the OnePager application. OnePager allows you three main and simple dimensions of automated organization. The first is color. OnePager can color your tasks based on existing data in your document if you want. The alternative is to bring everything in as a single color. In this example, OnePager colored my tasks and milestone shapes based on the values in my resource names column. When OnePager executed the coloring, it also created this legend for me. How the legend appeared initially is based on my template settings, but I have full control over it in the view. I can grab it, drag it around, control the height, width, background color, legend item order, and title. The legend is also something I can hide very easily if I want. The second and third main dimensions of automated organization are the swim lanes and rows columns, which are these columns of data here on the left. One pager can group your tasks into fat swim lanes for you, again, based on existing data in your plan. In my example, I've used the project names which were populated in the project column within my Excel document. The rows column is something you can think of as a secondary swim lane or just a place to populate text next to the shapes in your rows. The swim lanes and rows display or not based on your template settings initially. However, these are also items that you can modify on the fly. You can drag and drop the location of swim lanes or rows up and down. You can also right click into any swim lane or row to add more or hide them. If I click into the properties item within the list, you'll notice that I have even more control over the swim lanes and rows in this form for alignment of the label, background color, and border formatting. 
All of those dimensions are something that you can modify, for example, if you'd rather have your swim lanes organized by the values you have driving colors and vice versa, it's just a few button clicks. As this other example shows, OnePager can also group your tasks into a single row for you based on common data in your source document. In this example, I also have a couple visual elements in the body of my chart set to display. You see some yellow bars meant to denote percent complete visually, and also some smaller more transparent bars on the left which are showing your baselines. You have full control over the percent complete bars in terms of color and height within the taskbar, and even more control over the baselines. Both of those items are something that you can turn on and off with a few clicks for the entire view, as well as on an individual or group basis. Here are some tasks that have these elements turned off. There is also quite a bit of data that I'm not displaying on most of my tasks in this view, but I do have a couple tasks set up to illustrate some of the options. In this task, I'm displaying my baseline end dates and I have percent complete progress text set to show. In this task, I've turned on the start and end dates and set them to display on the top and bottom. As you can see, OnePager allows you to control how much or how little data is displaying in your view based on what you think your audience will need to understand your visual, or put differently, how much you think they can absorb. All easily modifiable on the fly. Now let's explore OnePager's robust and flexible formatting options for taskbars and milestone shapes. You may have noticed earlier that my view and legend includes various shapes of taskbars and milestones. I'm going to open the properties of the project view form, aka the settings, which is where you will spend most of your time conducting any fine tuning of the visual to get what you need if your template wasn't set up exactly so when you first created your view. If I click into the taskbars tab, you'll notice that you have a variety of shapes to choose from. You can control fill, height, and border properties as well. In my Milestones tab, you'll notice that I have about 50 shapes to choose from. At the bottom of the Taskbars or Milestones tabs, you'll notice a section called Conditional Formatting and a button that says Manage Rules. If I click that, you'll see that I actually set up my template so that if one pager sees specific text values in my resource column, it will format my shapes a certain way. Color, Shape, Size, font, and border formatting are all something that you can have one pager control based on specific data in your source document. While I suggested there were three main and simple dimensions of organization earlier, conditional formatting essentially allows almost limitless possibilities for having your data drive meaning into your visuals. You can use up to five columns of data at a time to control your formatting, and there's no cap on the number of rules you can create. Any rules you've populated will also show up on the legend to ensure your audience has complete clarity of what they're seeing in terms of formatting. I'm going to flip over to another example of the same view where I've added some other elements, namely a text box, a comment box, and a curtain, which is meant to highlight a period of time meaningful to the view and audience. All of these elements are items that you can click on for the purposes of resizing and relocation. Additionally, you can drag and drop the width of the swim lanes and rows columns, or make the swim lanes and or rows taller. You can also resize one or many shapes at once with drag and drop. Now I'd like to move on to one of the best and most unique features of the OnePager application, and that is snapshots. If I've lost your attention, now is a good time to perk back up. One pager has the ability for you to essentially set up a visual for the purposes of a recurring meeting and then just pull in updates to that visual from your source data whenever you need them. Let's say for the sake of the example that I pulled my data into one pager today to create a view for a recurring meeting. After some fine tuning by adding text, adjusting some formatting, etc., I present this view and I know I'm going to have to arrive with this same view, albeit in its updated form, every week for the next six months. Now let's pretend it's a week later and some change has occurred in my data in the form of durations, end dates, along with some percent complete values. Before I walk into the next iteration of my weekly meeting, all I have to do is hit my One Pager Express button from Excel. Instead of making a new view, this time I'm going to update an existing project view and ask One Pager for a new snapshot. When I click the New button, one pager will pull in my updates and present me with a new snapshot while maintaining all the customization I employed to the view. If I open the View tab, you'll notice I now have my previous button illuminated and I can navigate back to the previous snapshot. 
When I do that, you can see all the change one pager has managed to handle for me in the form of Gantt bars moving, percent complete bars moving, and it's also modified my time axis. Achieving all of that change in another tool manually would have taken me hours, whereas one pager did it in a matter of seconds. I can have as many snapshots as I want, and those will all be available to me by clicking the List All button. This capability is very valuable for CYA purposes or if your company likes to apply lessons learned from previous initiatives toward future projects since you will have a catalog history for how the plan evolved over time within your snapshots. Much of this content in the view can be snapshot specific such as comment boxes, text boxes, images, and curtains. It's very easy to get your data out of one pager and into another document for presentation or archive purposes if you don't want to have one pager open during your conversation or presentation. First, you can hit the copy graph button from your home toolbar which puts a high resolution image of your one pager view on your clipboard. This is something that you can paste using a control V right into any other document you want such as an email, PowerPoint, or a Word document. Any other document that can receive pasting of an image is something you can paste your one pager visual into. Second, you can go into the File tab of your toolbar, then select Import Export, and then Send to Image File. This will allow you to store your one pager view as an image file on a shared location or local drive, which could then be uploaded to another sharing mechanism such as SharePoint. I mentioned before that as a novice user, you will likely have to spend time modifying your view to get what it is you need prior to your presentation. You may modify formatting of shapes, fonts, the time axis, the legend, etc. But you don't want to have to make those changes over and over again. So what you can do is simply hit the Copy to Template button, which will turn the visual you have up and all of its underlying settings into a template that you will then have handy to apply to any new one-pager document you may need to create in the future. You have access to all of those templates by hitting the Templates button from Excel. What this templates feature also allows you to do is standardize the look and feel of visuals across a team or to a specific audience by sharing the templates and agreeing to a particular format. You can use OnePager to improve communications around your initiative top to bottom and from beginning to end. If you need to talk to one guy or gal about what they care about, you can whip them up a visual in one pager rather than walking into that conversation with a printout of a data sheet, which we know is less effective. Having a visual is always best. Thank you very much for your interest in OnePager Express. To learn more, please visit our website at chroniclegraphics.com or email us at sales at chroniclegraphics.com.